Well, it was a nude photo shoot for a magazine by Ranveer Singh. And now we are here on National TV debating about whether it is offensive to our culture, to our sensibilities. It would have been okay at the point of a debate. But the thing is, now there is a complaint that has been filed against the actor. The case has been registered. Two separate complaints, in fact, were filed in Chembur, one by an NGO and the other by a lady lawyer. The allegation is that the actor has hurt the sentiments of women and insulted their modesty. कला के नाम पर जिस तरह से वो नग्नता को समाज के सामने प्रस्तुत कर रहे थे और चूंकि उनकी फिल्में बच्चों में ज्यादा उनकी फिल्मों का क्रेज है बच्चों के हाथ में आज एजुकेशन के लिए मोबाइल हर बच्चे के हाथ में है इसके कारण इसका बच्चों पर हमारे समाज पर बहुत बुरा प्रभाव पड़ता All right, joining us now on the debate, uh, we have Dilip Charyan, founder of Perfect Relations, Pratima Prahlad, renowned artist and socio-political activist, Sherlyn Chopra, actor, and Naveen Choma, lawyer. I waited all day to ask somebody this, Sherlyn Chopra, how exactly is Ranveer Singh doing a photo shoot with his own body hurting the sentiments of women? notice that a few years ago I had done a similar bold shoot in Los Angeles for uh, an iconic adult magazine <laughs> and uh, when I returned to India I was welcomed with uh, brick bats um, I was called uh, all sorts <coughs> of names by the media and by people in uh, Bollywood and uh, today I see that the same people are uh, praising Ranveer Singh's work. They're calling it uh, artistic, creative, etc., hmm. etc. Et so my question to them is, Wo kare to chamatkar, hum kare to durvyavhar. Why double standards? Why double standards? Why not have the same set of rules for everybody? Uh, this is not a question of double standards. This is a question of uh, very, very well recognized film star making sure that he is doing something which was meant for those who follow him on the social media channels and those who actually go out and buy the magazine. I think that we are leading into a situation of a country which is so, rife with hypocrisy also follow him. and with hysteria, a combination of hypocrisy and hysteria which is, you know, and also now, clearly, what about me? Hmm. If they did this to me and it was not wrong, why is it wrong now or why is it not wrong now? That isn't the thing. Hmm. India has moved on. We need to understand that the new generation does not consider any of this either obscene or unacceptable. Surely, That's the point it shouldn't me. have happened to you and it shouldn't happen to Ranveer. If you were treated unfairly... So, so is, it, is, it okay, is it okay for Ranveer's uh, little... Yes, sorry, go on. Just one question I have. Yes. I want to know if it's okay for Ranveer Singh's little fans uh, who are children hmm. to uh, look up to him as an idol. My, my sense is that we are objectifying the body. So I'm saying that, that it is I, not, I it is not a big deal. There is any reason to make this something that is taboo. Here is a man who is a fine specimen of manhood. And I don't think, in fact, children are among the most innocent creatures. They have nothing against nudity or against exposure or anything of the kind. Please understand that children are innocent and they children are going to be... Children are also the most vulnerable creatures, so, sir. I, I, they are I also the most you, vulnerable creatures. I hear you. Yes, certainly there are situations where there are, they are vulnerable. But as long as there is no vulgarity, here is a person, a well-known actor, who is flaunting what he has managed to create out of his body. And I don't think that objectifying that... Here is a well-known actor is, who is flaunting his assets. I yeah. think that, you know, uh, certainly he is plotting his assets, but in a tasteful and not an inappropriate manner. There is nothing uh, overtly sexual way. about this. 
I think right. the carpet is very tasteful something. and so is the background. The lighting is also highly creative. Sorry, but what is the objection? Chal, if I can just stop you for a second. Let's face it. If we are really concerned about children, let's come to the children part, all right? Yes, ma'am. We've got tons of content on Instagram. I have to admit, I'm not very savvy, but whatever little I see turning up, first of all, there should be parental controls. We cannot control, and Ranveer Singh cannot control what children see. That's point number one. Exactly, ma'am. Point number two, if I just see Instagram influencers who may not be celebs, a lot of them are doing pretty much what Ranveer is doing. But they are not that well known. And I'm assuming children would see that as well. So why is this Ranveer's problem? Ma'am, ma'am, we live in a country where most of us look up to stars as idols. We consider them our role models. So when they smoke, we feel like indulging in smoking. When they do drugs, we think, oh, it's cool, no problem. And when they start exposing their bodies in such a manner, we begin to think that it's absolutely okay. It's not a big deal. You so think the so? question is, is it okay to set, to set such uh, standards for, for the younger India? You think so, Pratibha Prahlad, that Ranveer Singh should be held to a higher ideal simply because he is a role model? Padmajai, or he should make it very clear, ma'am, that because he Because it's is a ridiculous argument and a ridiculous situation. Please, let me speak. Please, let me speak. Your turn is over. Please, let me speak. Yes, go on, ma'am. Don't interrupt. Thank you for making that known to me, ma'am. Yeah. So, what I have to say is that... Yes, please go on, uh, one by one. I'm deeply alarmed at the way our society... Padmaja, should I? Should I? Yes, ma'am, please go on. The question was for me. Yeah, what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, what I'm deeply alarmed about is the fact that all these people uh, have the gumption and the guts to tout regressive viewpoints so confidently, uh, you know, out there in public domain, knowing very well that they may have takers for their own opinions. Because I would feel ashamed you know, uh, to take the autonomy of somebody else's body from him or her. Because what, you know, Ranveer Singh is a film actor. He's not just, you know, somebody else. He's not an epitome of some, you know, virtues or virtuosity or whatever it, it is. He is a, he's a film actor. He's commerce driven. He wants to be visible. And he's in showbiz, for God's sake. And it's his business to put himself out there and make himself, you know, uh, to be provocative. Hmm and be provocative. So he's done that and he's got every right to do whatever he you know, wants to do uh, you know, with his body, his time, his money and if people don't want to watch it, they can block him, they can stop seeing him and frankly, Padbaja, I had not even seen these pictures, I had not even read the story until Times Now called me and then I said, what, what is this about, what is this controversy about? Mm. I just have one point to make. India of the ancient times you know, was very liberal about nudity and nude women and male bodies, you know, male and female bodies. And there are many, many sculptures. You can go to Kajuraho, you can go to Belur, you can go to Halibid, you can go to Rameshwaram temple, you can go to any temple, I mean, Konarak, and you see beautifully sculpted figurines mm. of, you know, of Apsaras, of women, of men. So it was the British. And, and the foreign invaders that brought, that brought in their, uh, you know, Victorian morality on mm. us. They kind of, you know, and we kept talking about why are we, you know, slaves to Victorian morals <coughs> and Victorian morality? Mm. Because we have our own deep culture and cultural ethos to fall back on. And from, in, from in many instances in academia, mm. in, you know, on stages, we talk about British imposed. Victorian morals hmm. that hamper our progress in our arts, for example, classical dance, yeah. or, you know, or, or sculpture or painting. And, you know, this is, this, 
argument about a film star posing for nude because he's earning millions and a magazine that has a you know aesthetic shoot of this mm. film star uh, being you know uh, discussed all day long today on social media on main you know media and especially that it's is their business that's a very interesting alarm. point and i want to take that back to shalin chopra it's quite it's quite strange that you yourself are in showbiz shalin chopra and you are objecting to someone posing in this fashion i mean yes, tomorrow sir. if we go down this road tomorrow the same argument will be applied to women should not do item songs they are setting a bad example for their young fans women should not be wearing certain kind of clothes on screen because they are setting a bad example for their fans women should not be seen smoking but they are actors they are just essaying a role ma'am ma'am the question here is should nudity be promoted on social media But he's not promoting it. He's not saying all of you take off your clothes. He's On just saying this media, is my body. I'm a fit guy, and it's okay. I'm not breaking any laws. Milan Soman and Madhu Sapre did it, and they were eventually let go. They were not convicted so, because they were not breaking uh, laws. Okay for he's not going around stripping people. He's just posed himself. Ma'am. Ma'am, shall we encourage parents to show Ranveer's nude photos to their little children? That is the, the parents' responsibility, in isn't it? Art? That is the parents' Are responsibility. The parents That's a world of content. Are parents brainless? It's it's their prerogative. Yeah. Ma'am, all I'm saying is that there is a space for every kind of art. Social media is not the space for nudity. Okay then what is the space let me get in navin chomal as well because let's get the legal point of view what is the space right now we are living in an environment where <clears throat> tons of content is coming at us and we are strangely looking for censorship we are saying let's censor this let's censor show social media tomorrow we'll say let's censor ott navin chomal <clears throat> padmaja ji yeah yes thank you padmaja ji let me explain this aspect in a very uh, proper manner let me start with the concept of the nudity our own country bharat we have been accepting the nudity as a art and every nudity is not vulgarity that is our concept as rightly said by one of the panelist that we have been having sculptures right from khajuraho and other places also where nudity has been shown but there is a but there has been a purpose behind it so in this context of ranveer singh we have to understand the surrounding circumstances and the concept behind it so the reason for which ranveer singh is um, the nudity is condemnable is because the surrounding circumstances like what first of all there was no purpose behind this he has done it for his cheap publicity kindly appreciate the interview that he has given along with that nudity he has used certain wrong words which are not even worthy of being reproduced here in front of the esteemed viewers so please appreciate that even our supreme court has dissected nudity from vulgarity but in this case this nudity is not of any art or any purpose This is a vulgarity. What Ranveer Singh has done. But what purpose is to be served? His purpose figure. is he's an actor. He's he does it for self-publicity. I mean, you're saying I that mean. it should be nudity for charity, then it's okay. No. But if he is doing it for his own self-promotion, it's bad. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I, I, I yes, no, kind of. Yes, that is what I'm saying. Had there been any purpose behind the nudity, for example, he is uh, exhibiting a very good body, promoting youth for having a good physique. Mm -hmm. We can understand that thing. But he could have worn the bare minimum clothes also. But he is posed absolutely nude and no purpose. Look at his surrounding interview with it. Look at the purpose he has given. All dirty words he has used. Okay, so what do you make of this, Dilip Chari? It is purpose. the purpose he and the intent which makes it suspect and this hurtful. No, suppose you. Suppose you. When I, when I began, I said that we are a nation that is driving ourselves into a mixture of hypocrisy and hysteria. There needs to be no purpose. The purpose is an art form. The purpose is that it is meant to show that he has been able to sculpt a body which 
many grown men would be for and which is attractive for all the sexes so i don't think that as long as there is no purpose of creating obscenity it is absolutely valid and it is not vulgar and the thing is a lot of people would argue what is the purpose of cinema at all then what is the purpose of music what is the purpose of fashion or modeling the thing is by its very existence it purposes to entertain and maybe self promotion in the case of this magazine shoot that we sit here and discuss it maybe it's great to have these conversations in an evolving society but to have someone booked for it well let's just face it like dilip charyan said let's not be on the edge of hysteria and hyperbole and hypocrisy all the time in the hope that better sense will prevail and this case will be thrown out thank you very much both gentlemen pratibha prahlad and shailin chopra for joining me have a good night